Hi, my name is Christian Herr, and welcome to the course on Full Stack Web Development with Flask. Here's a little bit about me and my background. I'm an author and a web instructor at several institutions where I teach computer programming and web development. My career in web development spans over 20 years, and I've built many websites and web-based applications using various web technologies throughout my career. And my free time, I enjoy learning new technologies and contributing to the open source communities such as Quora and Stack Overflow. I think that's it about me. So let's see what this course is all about. And this course will cover everything that you need to know how to build a dynamic web application using Python and its lightweight web development framework called Flask. So the course is divided into six sections. We'll start off with the first section by setting up the Python environment and the Flask framework for our application development. Then once we're done with the configurations, we'll move on to section two and create our very first Flask project using the Flask micro framework. Then in section three, create templates for our application using the Jinja 2 template engine, one of the most widely used template engines for Python. Then in section four, we'll learn how to set up and configure a database system for our application. We'll be using the Flask Mongo engine database system for this course, so it's really important that you have a good grasp of JSON data format and JavaScript objects. In section five, we'll explore the Flask WTF extension and learn how to use it to build web forms. And we'll also learn how to create sessions in authentication in the in Flask. And finally, in section six, we'll take a close look at REST APIs and learn how to develop RESTful APIs using Flask REST Plus API. And we'll finish the course by performing some integration testing with our REST APIs using the HTTP client called Postman. So to do well in this course, you should have a good understanding of web development. So know these technologies have basic knowledge of Python and the NoSQL database systems. You should be familiar with Flask framework, especially for front-end development, and know the following paradigms and architectures, especially the OOP, NVC, and NVVM architecture. And you want to make sure that you are also comfortable using the command line interface. I'll be using that quite extensively throughout the course. And last but not least, you want to make sure you have a modern computer with internet access at all time. Also, install your favorite IDE. I'll be using the Visual Studio Code for this course. And usually most of these are completely free, so that's pretty cool. And make sure you have these installed as well. You want to have the Node.js version 8.9 or higher, and both the package manager, NPM and PIP, and of, of course, you want to have Python 3.5 or higher. And then lastly, you want to install Postman. The Postman comes with a desktop version and a plugin version for the browser. So you want to make sure you install the desktop version. I think that's all there is. So if you are ready, let's get started.